so glad you're here. I called you to tell you that. Wow. That was because. <laughs> that was because we finally got that bastard Ricky on the ropes. What happened? The minister that he took over for happened to die suddenly. Did Ricky kill him? Oh, maybe. Along with Zach, along with the woman found in Griffin's bed, along with who knows who else. He needs to be locked up. He will be. He will be. But in the meantime, I don't want us to look back on our wedding, and I don't want us to think about the guy that married us, so... I want to do over. What are you doing? You know, we have lived through such crazy... crazy times. And we're so lucky to have each other. You're the love of my life. You're my safe haven. And I know you always have my back. You'll always be in my corner. So will you do me the honor of marrying me again? You purposely kept Ryan from knowing about his child. Mommy told me not to trust you because you do a lot of bad things. You lie all the time. Daddy sure never married you. Would you do me the honor of marrying me again? You purposely kept Ryan from knowing about his child. Mommy told me not to trust you because you do a lot of bad things. You lie all the time. Daddy sure never married you. I gotta be honest. I didn't expect to be down here so long. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I am. Um... What? What is it? What's wrong? Of course I want to marry you again. More than anything. But before we can do that, there's something you need to know. Hey. You can tell me anything. You know that, right? That's how we deal with things. It's Emma. Oh. Well, I know things have been tough lately, and... Well, it got worse today. She skipped school. Well, that's not entirely true. She went, but then she called a cab to come and pick her up. And take her where? To Oakhaven. Oh, my God. Please tell me you're kidding. No, I'm not. She stole my wallet to pay for it, and luckily the cab driver refused to take her and asked for her parents' number. <sighs> well, thank God she called you. Well, she didn't. She called Madison, and Madison brought her here. She's back in the lounge. This is unbelievable. Tell me about it. Well, I mean, thank God for Madison. Obviously, I wish she'd, she'd called us, but at least she's got somebody. That yeah, she can turn somebody to. with no interest in in dealing with consequences. I mean, I came in here, Emma and Madison were eating chocolate muffins like nothing had ever happened. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure Madison just wanted to get Emma comfortable and then get her to explain why she did what she did. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I mean, Madison's got a ultrasound. I'm, I'm supposed to be there. Oh, well, then before you go, I might as well tell you before she does that we got into it. I called Madison out on indulging Emma's behavior way too much. Yes, Madison is carrying my child, Greenlee, and I want her to be safe and I want her to be happy. But, legally or not, you are still my wife. I'll talk to Madison. I'll get her to see things from your side. No, 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 okay? no, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, okay. It'll just make things worse. Okay. 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 Adams, can you come out of here, please? I thought you were going to the hospital. I'm going to drop her off at Claire's on the way. Will you meet me downstairs in, in an hour, please? That's it, right? You, you didn't want to talk to me about anything else, just Emma? No, just, just Emma. Hi, Daddy. Hey. <clears throat> you and I need to have a serious discussion about telling the truth. 